It's a day 340. I got money in my pocket and I'm out on the town. And the world is my oyster. Well, actually, I only have about $15 and no car. And I'm on a, I'm on a, like a, this stretch of road that has nothing on it practically. Well, it has tons of stuff on it, but they're all restaurants. So, I'm going about my day, hoping to find something interesting to do today. I, I doubt I will. I doubt I will. But you know, it doesn't hurt to try, right? So, I'm stuck out here till 10 o'clock tonight. It's about 5 o'clock right now. Well, near 5. So, uh, that gives me about 5 hours. Uh, just glad he gets off work early today or I wouldn't be getting a ride back for quite some time. Ooh, uh, so, uh, yep, that's what's going on right now. Oh, forgot to turn this thing off. So, I'm looking around here, right? And as I go down the road, it's grocery store, car parts, restaurant, grocery store, car parts, restaurant. And that's pretty much all there is around here. I'm actually, I'm hanging out at a really nice park right now, though. See, I, hopefully this isn't connected to a graveyard somewhere. But, uh, I was originally going to start this vlog on a on a really nice uh, bridge I saw that was like covered by trees and like there was like a you know a river below it and stuff but I went up to the I walked all the way over to that bridge where I saw it and unfortunately they had taped off ah I was thinking about just spending my time there but you know I guess I'm just gonna keep wandering I bet it looked pretty crazy just talking to this camera while there's a bunch of people driving by. Uh, I don't know Missouri at all, or I'm Jefferson City at all. In fact, I probably know Columbia better than I know Jefferson City, and I've only been in Columbia for a day. The day I got here, spent that, I spent most of that day just putting quarters in this, uh, this, uh, coin, this coin machine that would push quarters around. You know what I'm talking about, right? <sighs> so, let's see if I can get in here. I just wanted to show you guys this, uh, this really creepy thick spider webs. They're like everywhere in here. They're so gross looking. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. I can imagine what kind of spider would make something that thick. I mean, your hand can get stuck in that thing. That's the thing I don't like about um, these like these green areas of of the United States. There's always like these really big nasty nasty uh, insects and arachnids around here. My uh, my roommate actually got bit by one and uh, went to the hospital. Bit awkward. Yep. Just bit by a brown re brown recluse, I think. Oh my god, his leg was so gross. You'd have to see it for yourself. It was bad, dude. It was real bad. But oh, that's what worries me. I'm worried that I too am gonna get bitten. But you know, some things you just can't control. I've been trying to keep bugs up. They still get in sometimes, you know? Houses aren't perfect. Ooh, a bench. I've been walking for a while. I'd be happy to sit on a bench. I'd be delighted. Oh yeah, bench, bench, bench. You know, I've always wondered if, if it was a, uh, if it was a, uh, hi if it was disrespectful to, to sit on someone's memorial bench. I don't think it is. I'm gonna sit here anyways. I have 
unless you've done this yourself, you have no idea how awkward it is to be talking to yourself to a camera and have people just go by you. Oh, it's so, so embarrassing. I'm trying to get over it though. Oh, you hear that? The sound of us still right in the middle of civilization. Because we're still in the middle of the city. You know what I do miss is the Truckee River. I miss Reno, the Truckee River. That place was really nice. I just miss Reno in general. My financial situation, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to visit anytime soon, but I really miss it. Hmm. I just... Jefferson City just doesn't rub off the same way that Reno does to me. I'm hoping that I can get things worked out of here. So, I'm out here on this uh, bike path out in like the wild, like the, you know, not the wilderness, but you know, the um, tree place of Jefferson. And what am I saying? There's trees everywhere in Jefferson. But uh, I was just noticing that. Do you ever notice that uh, the landscape of Virginia and Missouri, like they're, they're so far apart, but they look very similar. I mean, look, look at that. Doesn't that just remind you of Virginia? Does me. I'm hoping to reach the end of this and maybe find something interesting, like a park to sit at or, you know, something. Hmm. Yep. Nice little creek there. If I did, forgot to show you guys that. Well, on to the next clipsy, as Josh would say. I think, I think I'm going to turn back on this bike path because I have no idea how far this is leading me away from Dairy Queen. And if I'm not able to get picked up, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad. So I'm going to head back, not to Dairy Queen, but to, you know, somewhere that isn't, you know, bike pathy related ah it's a bit hot out here isn't it you know i was walking down this bike path and then i was thinking i was getting kind of nostalgic and i was thinking that this this moment kind of sticks with me because if you think about it 340 days ago when me and Josh were walking through the trees, we decided that we'd make a vow that we'd do a vlog every day. Of course, you know, it, it's Josh's vlog, but we both kind of made a pact that, that uh, every day there'd be a vlog. So, you know, 340 days later, you have any idea how long that is? That is impressive. We, we've maybe missed uh, maybe a day on accident, maybe. But, uh, if you take it all in it, that's that's really awesome. That's like that's amazing. Oh, it's amazing indeed. I cannot believe all this time. Well, mostly Josh. Josh has kept up the vlog. I've just been in quite a few of them. You know, maybe one day I could start editing again. Just gonna start editing again. I'm sure I can do it much better than I used to do. Oh, better stay away from me, B. But enough reminiscing. You know, time to look toward the future. Here's to another, hopefully, 340 days. So you know. Usually when I do these vlogs, they're kind of a big chore for me, and I kind of usually do them because Josh asked me to do them. But this time, I feel I'm genuinely having a good time doing this vlog. I honestly might do it some more. Like, I might do some more vlogs. Because I generally like them. Which is very weird, because I normally hate doing these. 
So I went back to Dairy Queen and somebody gave me a nice, like someone was nice and they gave me like a, a big ass free ice cream, right? <laughs> but uh, I spilled it on myself. So now I gotta walk the rest of the day around like this. Oh, I hate when that happens. But yeah, as you can see, it's nighttime now. Which means pretty soon I'm gonna get to go home. Which is gonna be awesome. Um, oh, what happened recently? Mostly I just sat at Dairy Queen for a long time, like maybe an hour or two. And uh, it's kind of busy in there. It's not too busy, but it's prom night, so it's prom night busy. Ooh, the moon's full tonight. Ooh. Yep, that's what's been going on. Give me my money back! You know, for the longest time, for the longest time, I thought that that place was a, a, a movie rental place. Because, it, like, look, when you drive by it, if you just, okay, just take out the couch and just imagine that being like a, like a piece of film. It looks like, a, it looks like a, 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 a video store, doesn't it? I feel like such an idiot because I just now found it out. And like every day that I pass this thing, I, I always say, look, Josh, there's still a video store up. Uh, I cannot believe I got that wrong. I am in uh, pain. I don't know if you guys know, but I have a really bad toothache. And when it starts acting up, it just happens randomly, right? But when it starts acting up, I get really bad headaches. Just horrible headaches, like my eyes hurt and everything. Dude, I don't even want to open my eyes. Uh, it goes away eventually, but sometimes it takes hours. It's not fun, guys. Take care of your teeth. Make sure you take care of those teeth. They're the only teeth you got. Oh, man. Not good. But anyways, it's getting closer and closer for me to go home. So, let's see what the time is. Mine says 10.51 and I'm an hour off. So, it's about 9.51. So, it's going to be going home time for me soon. Uh, I'm a bit excited about that. Uh, you know what I was thinking? They have all these uh, fast food chains right next to each other. Like, literally, right next to each other. You got this, this fish one right over here. You got Burger King over there, McDonald's down there. You got Wendy's right next to Dairy Queen, which I'm at right now. And let's see what we got across the street. Papa John's, whole bunch of places. You know, what I was thinking is they always try to compete by being right next to each other. But I bet if they were farther away from each other, like they weren't all right next to each other, it'd be, it might be better business. I don't know why they do that. I mean, think about it. Like, you come, you come into this place and you're like, hmm, what do I want to eat? I got all these places to choose from. But, you know, you drive by uh, one spot and like, oh, I'm going to eat there. You know what I mean? I don't know, just me rambling. But uh, that is what I think. Good evening, friends. Um, so I'm home now. Ryan did some vlogging today. I don't know what he did. But I'm a little annoyed. My dad put uh, these headlight covers uh, in the back seat on the floor, and uh, when I was getting in the car, I accidentally stepped on it. Now I have to replace them. I'm annoyed because I guess I should have seen them, but I, I really don't see how I could have in a car that has black lights uh, and it's dark. So I mean, and they're black. Uh, I feel like they just shouldn't have been on the floor, or they should have been up front or something, I don't know. But I guess, excuse me, but I guess now I gotta replace those and that annoys me because I feel like even though I am the one that stepped on them, I do feel like it wasn't exactly my fault. Whoever put them on the floor is the one that's at fault because, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of like 
it's kind of like if I put this table with the leg not all the way up and and I and and I I don't freaking know but there but I'm sure whoever watches this knows what I mean I mean if if it's valuable you don't stick it on the floor I wouldn't put my computer on the floor uh, and then have someone come by and use it and it starts on fire because I put it on the floor and then say well you're the one that's using it you should you have to replace it now no it's my fault because I knew that it shouldn't have been on the floor you know I, I caused it to overheat by making a bad decision <clears throat> but oh well I'll do what I guess has to be done um but shout out to Cameron he wanted to see if I'd give him a shout out uh Oh, that's it, man. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna relax tonight. I'm gonna, uh, uh, tomorrow's my Friday, so I get Tuesday and Wednesday off. Uh, then Tuesday's payday, but all of that's going to pay, pay rent, which is kind of a bummer. I don't actually even know how much I'm gonna have, so I hope I have enough to pay the rent. Uh, and then my next paycheck is two and a half weeks from now. That's gonna be divvied up to pay things off too now, so that's frustrating. But, I guess that's just the way the ball rolls sometimes. Um, well, if you like this video, like, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment of encouragement. But most of all, stay awesome, brothers. Stay awesome.